Hello everybody and welcome. Do you want to make sick plays like this one? Yeah. Who do you want? What? Dude, kill fucking Caitlyn. You sure? Yes, I hate her. Wait, that was actually clean! Or do insanely fast Lee Sin Warthog flash hog combos like in those Chinese Lee Sin videos? I just don't have enough time to practice listen for like 10 hours a day and remember all the combos and have millions of points on him. Well, I found a solution. Some people might think it's kind of a cheating, but in my opinion, I think it's just a game mechanic that everybody has access to. So let's jump into how we can do this. Okay, so we're just gonna jump into a Practice tool match uh, started. We're gonna pick our favorite champion, Lee Sin, of course. Get our favorite skin. Doesn't really matter. Let's go with SKT one because we are the Chinese Lee Sin. I know it's not Chinese team, but it doesn't matter. It's Chinese enough, as some would say. Maybe not irrelevant. We get in the game. Hopefully, get the camera lowered. Not right corner. Okay. Will it work? Game, please? Okay, it works. There we go. SKD1 Leeson. Let's disable invincible towers, minions, whatever. Refresh this. Get some gold. Get some levels. I'll oh, go level 18. Buy some items, for example. What did that played? And by a ward. Ward is important. So, for the starters, I'm gonna show you how this work looks in practice tool. We are here, and let's say this is the enemy AD carry. Let's actually make it a little more. Like he's here, and we're defending. And we want to insect him into our towers. Boom. In tower range, our team one shots him. Let's say there's multiple of them. Wait, can you like stop attacking? What? Ah. You can do this. Oh, okay, now I fucked up. I misclicked. I misclicked. Right, let us kick. We are. We missed, but you get. You get the point. The Chinese ward hub. This. That's basically what I want. What, we, what I'm gonna be showing you how to do today. Super easy. Like I'm not even like clicking any keys. It's actually that easy. Anybody can do this. And it's gonna catch every AD carry off of roll. You can also combo, combo it with like Q or actually QE and then Q again. There's also multi, but it's like it's a harder variable. I fucked up it. But basically, yeah, you got what I mean. So, how did I do this? How can I make it so easy to do a sick war jump like this in a Press of a button. It's called macros. Let me just go to display capture real quick. There we go. You can open your macro software. If you have a mouse, such as Red Dragon, Razer, you probably have a software like this. And if you, the thing you will see is this. This is your mouse. If you have Razer software, if you have some other software for macros, you can also make the keyboard. Your normal keyboard, you can find a macro software for it, so anybody can actually do this. You can change like the P key to make a macro and then that's basically it. So, this is simple, super easy. You have to go here and bind your macro. How do you create the macro though? You go to your macro section in your software and this is how it looks like. First macro, this is for uh, war jump with four and this is for war jump with the pink ward. I made two of them. I'm gonna demonstrate the other one as well in just a moment. So basically, for me, in the Razer software, there's actually a small delay, so you can put 0 seconds. But when I use my Red Dragon mouse, I had to put like 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 on some of these. Because there, there actually should be a small delay. If they all cast at the same time, it won't work. But for Razer, because it's a shitty software, there's actually a small, small delay. 
So when I press this, there's a small delay between flash, ward hop, and W. So if I want to, if you want to use pink wards, this works the same. Exactly the same. And for the other combos, you have to press E and E and Q before the 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 macro. That was Q and then macro. Immediately after, to make it faster. You basically fly faster than your Q, which is pretty cool actually. This looks cool in the game. You can also get out of some walls like this, for example. If I teleport here, there's an enemy, and the, let's say they're chasing you, and there's an enemy. You can do this, wire hop, and over, jump over the wall. Very simple. Very simple little trick. You can also cast your E in front of it, and then do the maximum damage. It's 3000 damage without a fucking uh, medic item. Yeah. You can also... The one thing with this is you can angle it perfectly. Like when you're playing... Wait, I missed Q. I'm so bad at the champion, by the way. You want this? Like, I missed him, you know? But with this, you can actually, like, uh, position correctly and pitch perfect. Like, pixel perfect, you'd have to chill. You're just walking up, you click it, you go. Like, I missed again. But it's just because I'm bad. If you're good at the game, it'll help you for sure. I'm obviously bad at the game, and yeah. But listen, this won't help you go ranked if you're bad at the game. Like, for example, me trying to do this in game. On my Smurf account, I lost every single game. Not because this is super OP. It is broken in like higher elos, but like in lower elos, it doesn't really matter. That's what I'm showing it. And a lot of pro players who do this, or like anyone who's a higher elo, they won't use this because it's like actually useless. It's just a cool mechanic you can do. That not a lot of people know about. And I believe a lot of those, if someone can do this combo, like without, um, like this, without the macro. It looks super cool, but if you want the absolute fastest result, you just macro it. Not like that. That's bad. That's a bad example. Like this easy, easy flash war jump, instant. The chickens are looking this way. Can he kill chickens? We can kill chickens with him. I don't. Not with that guy. With this guy. There you go. Okay. So that's gonna be it for the, this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you also want to see from my channel. I'm not a little more of these guides for like, I have like a lot of tips and tricks for champions that are like, not a lot of people know. Like if you, if you knew about this, comment down below, but I'm sure a lot of people didn't know about this. This is just like something that nobody does. I didn't see a video on macro for this from anybody, so I just made it myself. Because people just get like so excited when someone does this and I'm like... That's probably a macro. If they can do this in game without macro, congratulations. I did try. I did learn ish. And it's hard as fuck to do without macros. But with macro, it just makes life easier. Because I don't have time to play like Lee Sin for, for 10, 10 fucking days a week, 10 hours, whatever. You know? I don't have time. I'm not I'm not playing the champion in ranks. I'm just playing it normal for fun. And when I do this, people are like, wow, that just didn't just happen. You just did a sick ward drop, you know? It's impressive. So yeah, that's a single trick how to do, how to impress your friends with your listen mechanics, even though you actually don't have them and you're like a garbage iron four player like me. But yeah, peace out.